This is a special. All right, this is a special piece I wrote just for today. It is called Bring on the Magic. Today, today, white supremacists rally here in Berkeley, California, my hometown, a fading symbol of free speech and liberalism. Around our nation, white supremacists have been making moves loud and proud with the protection of a White House administration whose current definition of terrorism focuses on brown people flying planes into buildings but not white people driving cars into crowds. We feel, yes, we feel anger and fear and outrage that we are seeing white supremacy everywhere but it was always everywhere. Like Malcolm X said, stop talking about the South. If you south of the Canadian border, you're south. <laughs> Racism has drilled deep into the earth of this entire nation from the northern fortunes built on slavery to this native Bay Area land where a cinema and an Ikea desecrate sacred native burial ground where we rally against racism in a park named for the Ohlone people our society has fragmented and displaced. Racism was always here, it just wore a cloak of invisibility. But some of us have been steadily calling out how racism has been operating in every institution of this nation. While I never welcome racism, I do welcome its unmasking. Shedding that cloak of invisibility, racism has been marching barefaced. I see you, racism. I see you, anti-Semitism. I see you, white nationalism. I see you assembling yourself into a Sieg Heil formation behind he who must not be named, occupying the White House. But where there's an invisibility cloak, there's also the potential for magic. We need magic today because people are scared. Scared we won't make it out of this, wanna sit home and eat cake, but he who must not be named and his dementors feed on your despair. Now is not the time to lose faith in magic. We can't afford for any of us to be like the Dursleys today, particularly to my white folks who lack hope. You need to follow the leadership of people of color because we, yes, because we, particularly black people and especially black women, have always made a way out of no way black girl magic, so yes. So each one of us right now is in wizarding school. And like KRS-One said, you must learn. We need to take defense against the white arts, team taught by professors Garza, Colors, and Tometi, founders of Black Lives Matter, who have a new vision of black leadership and a movement for black lives. We need to study with Professor Eric Ward making connections between anti-black racism and persistent anti-Semitism. We need to study with Professor Steve Phillips who looked into the pensive and broke down the vision in his book, Brown is the New White. Demographic changes have made a new American majority where a coalition of people of color and progressive whites can win any national election if we have candidates that take bold steps to the left. So it's time to bring on the magic. Democratus, partyus, much more progressivist and coloracious. white racists and start engaging voters in communities of color. The, de yes. the Democratic Party needs to stop thinking like muggles and start living like wizards. But it's not just about voting. Voting is just one critical tool to create the conditions in which we organize. Democrats aren't the answer. Our movements are the answer. 
but voting matters. Because Republicans in office do everything in their power to enrich corporations, embolden misogyny and white supremacy, and crush our movements. But don't get caught in the trap of expecting perfection from elected officials. You're not electing a savior. Our movements are the savior. Because only powerful, broad-based movements of the people will create the two true transformation of our nation and our world. And for that, we need all the spells and all the magic and all the community organizing and all the coalition we can conjure. I want to see miracles. I want to register enough Latino voters to turn Texas blue. And they're out there, too. It's not about Hillary versus Bernie. It's about the forces of progressive change versus the forces of destruction. So draw a lightning bolt on your own forehead because we are all the chosen ones. White supremacy has come to destroy us again and again, but we remain. I don't yet have the words for the spell that will end racism in my lifetime, but I believe we can do it, and this gathering is a next step. <clears throat> So I want everybody to look to the east toward the White House and repeat after me. White supremacious terminationists! White supremacious terminationists! Take that, he who must not be named. We're coming for your ass. Right.